Are you wanting to do this to your Iron Man helmet? Today I'm gonna to introduce you to an awesome Arduino board that does all the work for you. Hassle-free, headache-free, and it's coming up in today's video, so come check it out. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad, and yes, I'm rocking the automatic open and close uh, Iron Man bucket. This is something that has been on my to-do list for a while. I had messed with some hardwiring practices, uh, some other relays and things like that. Nothing was to my liking. Burning out servos, all kinds of stuff. But today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to Crashworks, who is a company that is teaming up with Dropwire. And they are making all kinds of awesome boards to give you integrated features, ability to do things like this that before used to be so hard. So let me show you a little bit about this helmet and explain to you what's on the horizon. All right, so here is uh, the helmet, and this is the Mark 46. It's printed at a 0.28 layer height, so it's not the perfect print. Like I said, this was kind of just a prototype just to kind of get the ball rolling and see how everything works and how everything fits. My next video is going to really dig in deep and explain about modifying hinges because even with these, I did have to change a few things up just because it was scaled down a little bit smaller. But overall, they work really great. Um, here I have the uh, the battery pack and I will talk more about these battery packs and whatnot in the next video. There are a couple different options you can get and there are some um, components from Crashworks uh, that'll actually keep these batteries awake and prevent them from falling asleep. Because unfortunately this one I bought, it falls asleep. So when this falls asleep, I have to turn it back on from here, but Crashworks does have a remedy for that. You can also just buy a battery pack that never shuts off. It's not gonna damage anything. You know, basically the way the helmet is, um, I have the little switch in the corner of the helmet here and it just opens and closes. So uh, I have just a momentary switch mounted right there. So you push it and the faceplate opens and closes. Uh, when you push it, the LEDs obviously turn off. And then when you push it again, it shuts it off. I've seen some people use magnets, which was my um, initial way I was gonna do it, but just you have to have it at the right point. I really found doing these little momentary switches and you can mount it up a little bit higher. I just kind of did it here for the time being. But all you have to do is just tap this and it just opens and then you tap again and close. So you can definitely hide this more and just have your finger kind of go up here. You can put it in the back, you can put it wherever you want, but um, I just kind of have it here just for easy access. You can see it opens and closes, uh, no problem whatsoever. Now getting into the guts. All right, so here is the inside of the helmet, and yes, it does need cleanup, and I will do that, but uh, what I wanted to do is just get the board in, make sure everything was working, and then I'll kind of go in and clean up all of my wires and glue shards and things like that, but everything in here uh, is from Crashworks minus the servos and obviously the uh, LED eyes, but the hinges are printed and modified off of Thingiverse. Uh, the hinges here, same thing, and then the housing that holds uh, the servos, and then these are just the uh, MG90S servos that you will get off of Amazon. Links will be in the description. What will not be in the description off of Amazon is the board here. So like I said, this is the old uh, Alicia Mark II, and uh, the new versions are out, the Mark V and Mark VI, they're smaller. The good thing about this is I have a big board and it fits my head fine. And obviously I'll add foam and everything to this and I'll clean all these wires up to make it, you know, a, a little bit better. Yeah, you know, I got my battery pack here. All you do is turn it on and you can see that the board fires up. It sends a little jolt to the servos to turn them on and wake them up. And then you can see the eyes uh, light up there. And all you're, you know, all you're doing with this install is, you know, you have your switch right here that plugs into the board. You have your USB power. Uh, that goes right in here. You may not be able to see, you have servo one and servo two, those just plug in. And then what you have here is the uh, input for the eyes. So like I said, my tutorial, I'm gonna you know dig in and show you all of these, but I wanted to just show you guys how easy it is. And you can see how the light shut off. So these bad, there's certain batteries that shut off after about a minute, and this is one of them. So this one is not go going to work. Technically it could work, um, but you'd have to keep putting it on. Uh, Crashworks does make a module called Penelope that actually will prevent this from ever falling asleep. Um, so that's really cool. So even if you do get a cheaper battery like this, that's 17 bucks, um, you can get that Penelope piece, which I think runs around 20. Um, Cause some of those wake those batteries that stay on all the time are pretty expensive. So they do have that module. But that's pretty much it guys. I mean, this board is pre-programmed. I didn't hook anything up to my computer. All I did was plug in USB power 
plug in the switch that will open and close the faceplate, plug in each servo motor, and then plug in the LED eyes. I did have to splice those into this little uh, this plug here, but black to black, red to red, pretty easy. Uh, you mount your servos in, you screw them in place, boom, you're good to go. It's very easy, uh, very straightforward. It's, you know, the hardest thing to do is just to figure out how to get the hinges, which like I said, my tutorial is going to show you guys all of that. I've seen some people who, who do the hard wiring of it and they slam down really fast. And um, it's just these boards, it's just complete control, seamless, flawless. There's really no way you can mess it up once you get those hinges down. It is absolutely, it, it's just flawless. It's awesome. Happy to introduce you guys to Crashworks if you haven't heard of them because they really do make some awesome boards. And like I said, I will be doing all of their boards. So I'll have more in depth with this one. One big thing I am going to show you guys uh, in the video is how to make these eyes dimmable and controllable. Because when you have these on, you, you can't see through them. Um, it's, it is very, very difficult. I don't know if I can kind of, if you can see here, it's, it's very difficult and you can barely see my hands there to, to see through these. So I am going to be showing you guys also how to wire up a potentiometer, which will dim these eyes. So they'll still be lit up, but they'll be a lot dimmer and a lot easier to see out of. So that's, what's going to be going on in the first video. No stone unturned. Everything that you need to know about getting these, you know, these hinges absolutely perfect and, you know, just getting the servos right and everything. The idea of doing these videos is to just thoroughly in-depth answer all the questions in one video, show you guys how to do this. I probably will show you a couple different options for switches and things like that. I personally like the momentary switch. I think it works the best um, and it really does, you know, it takes your, your Iron Man helmet to the next level. You know, this is a lot of motivation now. I've finally been able to nail this in and uh, really I'm going to be moving forward with my War Machine suit. And speaking of that, let's go out to the Darkwing Den and I'll show you what's been going on with the, uh, with the War Machine suit. All right, so unfortunately I've been absolutely slammed at work and with side jobs, uh, just commission orders and everything. I started off great in September. I had a ton of stuff done on this suit and then all these orders came in and it's hard to say no to money that you know i guess seen that metro cop helmet and then i started working on my thanos helmet um i was hoping to have the video out like in a week or two that ain't gonna happen i have to go up to new york for a wedding so that's a week of nothing i'm gonna get accomplished but let me show you uh just what's been going on with my suit uh show you some of my updates and progress the, uh, the Thanos dome here, um, me and Z started working on this and we're getting it nice and smooth and actually getting ready to uh, spray it. So here's all the pieces that I got going on. I know it's not a ton. Uh, there's another piece floating around here, but this is using that, um, that slick sand that I told you guys about. I mean, I literally just sand this and then hit it with the slick sand and sand it again. And this is how it looks. Obviously it needs some touch-ups here. It's not perfect. And that's really what's gonna take me a long time. But I mean, like this piece, I think I spent like an hour on. It was, it's, this stuff is absolutely ridiculous. You guys are gonna love that video. These are all the pieces that I have. Um, like I have this thigh sprayed. I have to sand that. Um, I've got that leg pretty much done. The chest is mostly done there. That leg's got to get sand. So, I mean, I've got, I'm making progress. It's just very slow progress. Um, I'm really going to kick it into high gear after the holidays, January and February, because I've got Pensacon coming up. I got a bicep right here too. These I got to start working on. Oh, pumpkin bomb. Yeah, I'm still working on that. Just a lot going on, guys. Um, you know, three kids, uh, dad duties, um, but, you know, definitely progress. I am happy that I'm doing the... Uh, the Punisher War Machine suit. Just because I can have it be, you know, a little bit more tattered and, and, and beaten up. Uh, I'm not going for gloss on this one. I'm actually gonna be probably doing a satin paint job. I'm still gonna be spraying it, um, you know, my HVLP guns and everything. The silver, I may do gloss just to kind of give it some wow, uh, maybe a metallic. Uh, it's gonna be a custom suit though. Anything, you guys know me, anything that I do, it's not of the norm. So this Punisher War Machine suit is definitely gonna be a little bit different. I got all those parts done in September. I haven't gotten anything accomplished in October because I've just been doing, I was doing all kinds of Halloween masks and everything. Really just slowed me down. One really cool thing that I wanna show you guys I'm actually going to be getting a new workshop uh, over on this side of the house. I'll show you my dumpy old shed and kind of give you guys a sneak peek at what's what's to come. So this is my dumb shed that never gets used. We just throw 
garbage in here. All of this stuff is going to go in the other shed. And then all my stuff from the shed you were just in is going to be in here. So this shed we're actually tearing down and we're getting a uh, actual building made here. And the idea is this is a 10 by 20. I'm going to do 12 by 22. So it's going to be just a little bit bigger. But this whole back section here. Uh, is going to be my painting area. So I'm actually gonna have a, like a legitimate paint booth, uh, which I am like super pumped about because in the other shed, I'm having to lay drop cloth and plastic and take stuff out because there's overspray. Um, literally on this side of the shed, basically right here, um, let me get down. I'm gonna have an exhaust right here. So I'll be able to run fans. I'm gonna put an AC unit in the window right here so it'll be air conditioned insulated there'll literally be a door that walks into the room so i'm gonna have a whole paint booth 2022 is going to be a huge year uh for darkwing dad because i'm taking it to the next level committing to this whole workshop and it's going to be me showing you guys you know how to do this stuff on on a professional level you know we're not going to be using wood filler we're not going to be using rattle can i understand it's not going to be for everyone there's people that aren't going to be able to just go out and buy a a building and have it built or there may be people who can't use hvlp guns and stuff and that's fine i'm still willing to do some videos of you know using rattle cans like i did with boba fett you know there's still certain jobs that can do it um but i'm trying to differentiate because there's misconceptions and people doing things like the wrong way that really it just bothers me <laughs> so i'm trying to get away from the generic cosplay mentality of oh it looks good enough and the goal of this channel is to motivate you guys and push you guys to the next level so even if you're using rattle can i mean you can still get great paint jobs when you wet sand and buff and polish and that's why i put videos like that out 2022 i'm working with a couple people and i'm not going to give out too many spoilers but there's going to be a lot of great content for you guys a lot of custom builds um hopefully it motivates you guys to open up your creative side so after the holidays i'm definitely kicking it into high gear and hopefully you guys come along for the ride but that's pretty much it guys um i'm done walking in circles outside i wanted to give you guys a glimpse of that iron man helmet and kind of explain to you uh you know who Crashworks was and, and Dropwire. And you know, like I said, many of you may have heard of him. Many of you may have not. Um, I am gonna be doing three more videos with all of their boards in depth. I kid you not when I tell you, it's just, it makes life so much easier. I'm not great with coding and things like that. So when I first started talking to Crashworks, I was like, take my money. <laughs> and uh, it just makes everything um, just so much easier. It's gonna be step by step by step by step. So that way you guys can follow those step by step and you can walk around your house opening and closing your face weight like I did the whole time once when I had that helmet set up. That's pretty much it guys. Let you guys know what's coming up. Uh, Thanos helmet build um, part one, hopefully will be up soon. Uh, my main priority right now though is like I said with that Crashworks board is to have that uh, that first video up uh, ASAP um, because I know a lot of people they, they want that and but they're just intimidated by it you know th these boards these tutorials are gonna make it very simple break it down for you guys obviously I'll always be here on the discord so that's pretty much what's coming up guys uh, I thank you guys for tuning in today's video I know it's kind of a little bit of uh, a little bit different not like a normal video still me talking a lot though. but to each and every one of my subscribers thank you guys so much I appreciate you guys tuning in uh, if you're not a subscriber and you like things 3d printing cosplay Marvel I'll all the stuff that we do uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button uh, we got some Halloween videos and stuff around the corner with the kids uh, they're getting pretty excited with Halloween so I'll probably be pumping some of those out in the next week when I'm out of town so it uh, won't be a lot of 3d print stuff but I'll try to keep some of the content coming to you guys appreciate you guys watching uh, tune in next time for whatever project I have around the corner and until then DW out later